Yo, 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 it's your boy Solo. We back at it again, keeping everything 1K real quick, man. Shout out to all subscribers to the channel, man. Really appreciate y'all. 1K, man. I'm saying if you're watching this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, man. I'm saying we got we got 300 plus subscribers, man. I'm trying to we're still trying to reach that 1K mark. I'm saying, but I'm saying so it's always gonna be a joint effort. But saying uh past Saturday, you know, college game day. Um, game day of the week, Miami vs. Clemson, Miami 2 L, 42-17. A lot of people pretty much knew what was going on. You know I'm saying we go from the line back and play to the receivers not doing Derek King any favors. But I'm going to do a quick breakdown on the game. Just from, from the film that I got, the highlight, usually what I what I did in the past, man. We're going to see what's really going on, man. All right, let's check it out. Hey, right, guys, this is right before the – no, this is right after – Two crucial penalties, all right? One penalty, uh, Quincy Roche lined up offsides and got the pick. So he dropped back and cut his line outside. Would it obviously killed Clemson's drive? And we had another penalty from Amari Carter. Press the flag, targeting on Trevor Lawrence, which negated the penalty that Clemson would have had holding, which would have put them at third and long. They probably would have, you know, settled for a field goal, or I don't know if they was in field goal range, but they definitely would have killed their drive. So... All right, this play right here, I believe this play ran in 2015 when Clemson played us. Got the whole line not doing anything. All right, this actually just straight up goes on the linebackers. You know what I'm saying they defensive line, they're just taught to just fire off the ball. I right, and contain your gap, especially in pet or just fire in pass situations. You know what I'm saying, but linebackers, they got to read the old line. They read the old line to the backfield, and obviously they're not reading the old line, which is their first key. I'm saying Sam Brooks kind of sees it a little bit too late. Corey Flagg, he's a freshman. I'm not, he's a freshman out there trying to make a big play. Um, by the way, Corey Flagg had a pretty good game overall, though. I'm saying he just has to get some physical abilities right. I'm saying he's gonna be a, he's gonna be the stud of a kid, man. Uh, Sam Brooks sees it's too late. By the time he sees it, it's four on one, and you know what I'm saying where you got four hogs versus. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn lizard. That's your results. Uh, yeah, you got to read that, man. Got to read that a little quicker. Sam Brooks, I believe he's going to be okay, though. Here, Brett Venables, probably the greatest defense coordinator in the college football today. You know what I'm saying? Brings pressure. Third to 10. Why not? I'm saying you. Trust your guys on the outside to hold they to hold their responsibilities. I'm saying Miami receivers. I'm saying no shade, but they're not really gonna give you that big of a threat. I'm saying where you could counter them with the one on one coverage with Bruce Venables was hoping on. And you could say Red Lash was hoping on that too, but hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, since six, do a little stunt blitz, confuse everybody. I feel Brent Vettel was doing real good, man. He was confusing Miami offensive line with these stunts, man, and didn't allow King to have a lane. Right here, Zach McLeod. I'm saying your main key, especially on third down, is to watch this beast right here, man. I'm saying Zach, I, I believe his man covered because he's playing three yards off the ball, three to four yards off the ball. I'm saying I don't, I don't know what took him over here. Maybe it's in the old lineman, you know I'm saying, but they're not I'm saying they're not really giving you any 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 um run blocking sight. So I'm saying by the time you wait one you make one simple mistake, you headed that way <laughs> and ETN is going this way, yeah, it's probably a little bit too late for you. No, sees it too late by the time he sees him he's washed up in the block. You know what I'm saying. Dang, you don't want that guy getting loose. All right, we got a pull. We got double pulls right here. Uh, I believe Jalen Phillips, man, he doesn't get under. I'm saying he ends up on the outsider's guard. He's supposed to get under him right there. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to get under him, allow this linebacker to make this tackle right here. But he gets pushed out. He doesn't get underneath the block. He gets pushed out and makes this guy. This other guard right here he picks it up, and bad things happen, man. I mean, it's first and ten, but Jesus, we need to stop, man. Just can't let him get back. 
And this linebacker, he goes too far outside anyways. Zach McLeod watching the, the running back again. And Zach McLeod's been on the place a lot, man. It's been kind of scary. Right, right here. It's a great play design by Quinson, man. They set up the screen, but Al Blades, he's watching it. I'm saying Al Blades has this screen locked down, and he got a check down guy right here, just in case. And nobody's covering him. <laughs> Which I believe is I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be this guy or this guy or this guy, but nobody gets to him. But well designed play by Clemson. Okay, it's falling all over. Bradley Jenner gets him. Yeah. We got right here. This one's also this one's really crucial right here. All right. This one be, it's going to be on Bradley Jennings, not trusting his teammates. All right, well-designed play by Clemson. All right, you got this guy right here. This offensive lineman coming out. <sighs> Trying to get ETN some free space, man. I mean, once you got a hat on a hat, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to beat that. But Bradley Jennings plays this right initially. I'm saying he gets outside, but you can see – when ETN comes outside, he stutter steps a little bit, which causes Bradley Dennis to stutter step. I'm saying he's trying to be a hero, and then he goes right back outside. But by the time uh, Bradley Dennis stutter steps, the old line he already has him. I'm saying instead of let's watch it, man. Slow, slow motion. All right, here we go. Right here, Bradley Jennings tries to play hero ball instead of staying on the outside. If it would have stayed outside, I'm saying he would have, that's him and ETN, man. And you're allowing Sam Brooks, if ETN cuts inside, Sam Brooks and Nesta and Quincy are right there to make the tackle. I'm saying you set a four field goal, Gucci. But Bradley Jennings tries to play hero ball and ETN gets down to the goal line. Right there, that stutter step right there. That killed them. If he would have just stayed outside, we would have been, we would have been talking. But ETM man, he's very talented back. He's able to read that as quick as possible. And score right here, but everybody could think they got pretty well. But what was it? Um, somebody's supposed to have the outside. I don't know if it was Fireson or Phillips, but. I don't see the outside outside gap was wide open. That containment was wide open. Somebody's supposed to have contained. Look like looks like Fryerson. Like Fryer's supposed to have it. Like by the time he sees it, he gets washed up. Uh, Got to hold on to that, Jalen Williams, Jared Williams. King had a little bit of running lane, man. Say so he holds on to that. Maybe Jalen Knight's able to slow 10 down a little bit. And we're talking one on one. Clemson did a great job with um, keeping the running lanes closed. But it was a sack by Jalen Phillips, first sack of the season. Hopefully, I'm counting on it. Plenty more to go, man, from that guy. This one on one, Al Blades, man. It looks like Keontre Smith is playing outside. I mean, he's playing the inside. Or is he apexing? Yeah, he's apexing right here. 
Trevor Lawrence, as good as he is, is able to read that, yeah, that's going to be wide open. Looks like something, something like palms, man. Great job, Bubba Bowden. Does everybody know Bubba Bowden? You know what I'm saying, we know we lost again. Player the game, man. This guy, man, this boy's a soldier out there. King right here with a great run finds that running lane. This what happens when he get loose, man. You can make things like this happen. If we'd have kept running full speed, it's probably a touchdown. I hate that he slowed down right there. I rely a little bit too much on the spin move, though. Jose Borregalas. Let me get that. I hear I believe Clemson marks it down again. Um, I'm going to put this on Chris Williams right here. Put this on Chris Williams. This guy's coming up. He's tight end, man. He's coming across. Chris Williams actually put he's actually supposed to throw him up, slow him down a little bit, man. At that point of collision. I'm saying give him Zach McLeod some time to see what's going on. But I don't know. Zach Zach's been looking like a slow reader, man. I'm saying he has his eyes. I mean, you gotta respect the run, of course, man. You gotta respect it. I'm saying, but that is exactly why Chris Chris Williams is supposed to slow him down. So it doesn't happen. And his tight end goes scot free. That, yeah, he got to respect the run. You know what I'm saying, and he sees it too late. Boom. Touchdown. Black dog, yeah, that's a freshman safety, man. Tighten up. Here, man, this play right here, man, should have – this alone should have put us back in the game, especially getting the ball back at halftime. Good stuff, DJ Ivy. Chris Fowler called him Wiggins, but – Wiggins has number eight, too, but, I mean, you got to know that. I don't think anybody on offense is going to play a uh, field goal block. Right here, we got the ball back. We went three and out, though. I'm saying, but this is a great play. One by Jalen Phillips for chasing Trevor Lawrence down from the back. Right? And then another great play by uh, Bubba Bowden. I want to say he went for the straight, went for the hit, but he fumbled. Cali to Cali, West Coast connection, baby. Now, could we make something happen with this? It's third and 11. King runs. I mean, this is. It's what happened when he has a running lane, man. <laughs> like I said, but you know I'm saying, but big mistake this next play. We could have went away with three points at least. You know I'm saying it's first down. Relax. Relax. Three man rush. It's three man rush. I mean, why? Why? Rhett Lassie kind of got his head over here, man. I mean, could at least try to run the ball, but I understand we're playing catch up. I'm saying, but at the same time, you're damn near in a red zone. One one covers D. Wiggins. Does not fight for the ball at all. I'm saying Derrick King is dependent on this guy. I, I think Team D. Wiggins coming up Derrick King a couple of times during the game. Like I said, hey, just throw it up one on one. I got it, man. But our receivers were pretty much unreliable this game, man. Even Trevor Jordan was was absent, man. But we had to dictate what Quincy was doing. Mike was playing behind, and Brett Venables just playing. He was making us. Dick take to what he was doing. I mean, but D Wiggins, man, you can't just fall down like that, bro. Come on, man. You got to fight for that. I think KJ Osborne gets that. I think Jeff Thomas goes for that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be stronger than that, man. You're expecting a lot from our receivers this year, man. We need y'all. We need y'all. We can't just depend on Brevin. It's run by Trevor. He had a running lane. Jalen Phillips not able to get him this time. Man, this play right here. Not a good play by Zach McLeod. 
takes that takes that tight end on head head on. <laughs> takes that tight end head on. Boom. I'm saying you're supposed to have your outside shoulder free. Have your outside shoulder free. Let Bubba force ETN to cut inside. Get your outside shoulder free. I'm saying tackles made, but I mean when you take that block head on, I mean ETN is just out of there, brother. Boom. Got smacked, man. Whew. Yeah, you're supposed to take that block on with your inside shoulder, leave your outside shoulder free. Hey, I play linebacker, guys. I would tell you, and I'm saying I, I got smacked. It was by tight end, no, but by guard. You know what I'm saying before I knew the real fundamentals of football and playing linebacker was. Yeah, I smacked by a guard head on just like that. You know what I'm saying it's not fun. <laughs> Go again. Man, you got to keep moving, Zach. You're a veteran. He's coming full speed. You stop and you, then you're bracing yourself. Come on, Zach. We need you, boss. DJ Ivy could have slowed him down a little bit, though, allowing Bubba to make that tackle. I want to say he was scared. He was. Come on, man. 18 squats, 1,000 pounds. That dive right there. Nah, that ain't gonna work, bro. Overall, I think DJ ever had a good game, though, man, besides that play. Even if you take away the block field goal, like, it's, <coughs> it sounds pretty quiet. <coughs> Another block field goal. Right, man, I saw the mistakes Miami made, man. And Clemson, we could have been in this game. We all know what happened. Derrick King underthrew this ball. You know what I'm saying? He got six five tight end. Y'all put it out there. This man hurt him and did not slow down at all. That is crazy, man. Which I don't understand, like, how they're playing this anymore as far as the option. Usually it's the DA has to dive, and then we have Farson have the, have the quarterback. You know I'm saying I don't – that was kind of – I'm saying as Farson does not – if Farson does not have the quarterback, yeah, he's supposed to get dirty, get up in there. Saying, but he's that hole wide open. Yeah. So I got to watch this ETN run again. I think this dude did not slow down at all. Still found Bubba, but Bubba made the tackle. Option. All right. Now I think Jalen Phillips has to dive. I believe Jamin Phillips have to dive. He's getting in there. The dive is shut. But Farson, he tries to get in there too. I don't know what the confusion is, man. It's been like all around the college football world. A little bit too late. Trevor Lawrence, I'm saying. <laughs> we got that boy out of character though, man. Miami is talking a lot of a lot of smack this game, man. All right, the dive is covered. It's covered. And who has who has the quarterback? All right, there's be some type of miscommunication. I don't know if it was Bubba or Farson, but I'm saying you gotta know Clemson runs that play a lot on the goal line. I right hear man, the stunt. Stunt blitz, man. 15 just did. These guys are savages, man. Let's 
stunt blitz, leaves that wide open. Get something going, man. Uh, Keyshawn Smith, man. I, I really, I really hope to see from him, man. I want to see a lot more from him. I want to see him in the game more. Him, Redding, Strepo, all the freshmen, man. I want to see them guys get a little bit more PT. Get some, get some experience, man. I'm not saying throw the other guys away, but gotta, gotta let your other guys get some experience out there. Redding got a little bit of experience. The um the Louisville game, the UAB game, and the Florida State game got some got some burn out there, man. But I want to see the mother the mother guys get some action. Right here, once again, you gotta respect the run. You gotta respect the run, but by this time, Clemson is just saying f you. <laughs> They're just saying f you and trying to put up points on the board. All right, running back is covered. What was that? Bubba has to run it back. Who has the tight end? Zach McLeod. Zach McLeod has to tight end. The tight end's wide open. My bad, that's not Bubba. I don't know who that is. Maybe Gervin Hall. Bubba tries to make the tackle. All right. A lot of people put this on Blake Baker. Blake Baker dialed up a nice game plan, man. It's just it's about executing. Forty-two seventeen, man. And then Cozy Perry throws a pick. Clemson runs. Hurry up, tries to get the ball in the end zone, and then that's all she. Right, that's the game, man. Like I said, forty-two seventeen. Um, I broke it down as much as I could, but I'm saying we got pit. We got pit this week. Noon game. I'm saying Miami doesn't really do good after losses like that. Hey, Mark Rick, his first here, um, five and one. First game he lost, he lost four straight after that. That was after Florida State loss, and then he lost to Pitt the next year, lost three straight after that, and then lost to Virginia the next year, and didn't do well after that. And many, you know, we, we all, after losses last year, we know what happened, but hopefully we can rebound after this loss against Pitt. So, like I said, it's a noon game. We had all night games so far. I mean, we, we practiced on Green Tree. They should be used to playing in the sun, so. Yeah, we're gonna see what's we're gonna see what's happening. I think Derek King and Red Lights can make something happen, get this offense moving, because most of our losses in the past is the offense the offense has been pretty stacking, man. But comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think about the video, man. Keep everything 1K. Mr. Hundred Time Team keep it one thousand. Fuck your home by the thousand. Don't fuck the other thousand. Stacking money by the thousand. I'ma stack my money by the thousand.